This podcast has been brought to you by Seekers Guidance, the global Islamic seminary. Help us spread the light of prophetic guidance to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Make a small donation at seekersguidance.org forward slash donate. For as little as $10 a month, you can help people find life-changing guidance. Um, I read a quote earlier on today um, where one of the righteous, he said, إِذَا رَدَّكَ مِمَّا تُحِبْ إِلَى مَا يُحِبْ وَذَلِكَ دَلِيلُ مَحَبَّتِهِ لَكَ <laughs> if Allah takes you away from what you love and directs you to what He loves, then that's a sign that He loves you. He tries them. He tests them. And this, you know, what is a test if it's not um, difficulty? It's something that keeps coming. You know, there's, there's pain. There's, you're, you're tested in the things that, you know, that you find dearest, usually. Or you're tested in... The things, the things that cause you the most pain, that's what you get tested with. So how do you navigate endless trials? Well, the first thing to do is keep your eye direct ahead of you. Inna lutatlubuhu amamak. As Sayyidina Jibreel said to the Prophet when he was searching for Laylatul Qadr, that what you're seeking is ahead of you. So the believer looks to the Akhirah. Right? Look to the days of relief. Look to the eternity of relief. You know, when the difficulties come, Look, that this is temporary, and the day will come where I will be with Allah, gazing at His infinite perfection in paradise. Alhamdulillah, alladhi adhaba an al hazan. Right? Now, what do the people of paradise say when they first enter? They say, All praise belongs to Allah who removed from us all sorrow. Right? And it's, it's done. All the grief and all the sadness and all the pain and all the enmity and all the grudges and everything will be gone as soon as you step into paradise we have a hadith where from the believers the person who's had the worst life he is uh, taken and he's dipped right he's just quickly dipped into paradise and he's asked oh son of adam have you ever seen any sort of misery and he said and he's had the worst life and he says no by god i haven't and is he lying? No. Is he factually incorrect? Yes. Because he's had the most difficult life. But that moment in paradise, just being exposed to it is, you know, he's, you know, it's enough to make him forget all of those worries and woes, right? So once it comes, you know, it, it will it will wipe away all that pain and sadness. So <clears throat> this is one of the things, you know, patience. Uh, and so when you're going through a trial, there's two things. There's the patience actually putting up with the difficulty. and But then there's the other side which people seem to neglect, which is ihtisal, expecting a reward, expecting something good from Allah. That's how you do it. Right? You keep it going. Like, you know, okay, I've, I've been through this. In Allah la yudhi'u ajr al muhsinin. Allah says that Allah doesn't lose. You know how you lose your car keys? And, you know, right? So he, used, he put it in that way that Allah doesn't lose the wage. Right, the reward of uh, those who excel in goodness and part of excellence is expecting a reward and being patient in, in trials right and yes trials can come and they can knock you you know back and you know they can come and they can exhaust you physically mentally they can exha exhaust your will they can exhaust your soul till it's like you know like <laughs> you have nothing to hold on to except for this except for your expectation of the good in the akhirah. So that's what you do, right? And you look and, you know, in, in difficulties, try to remind yourself of, you know, look at the st stories of other people and look at your own story, right? Look at your own story. Look at the past events where you've suffered or you've been through difficulty and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has removed those and you turn out better. And even, even the difficulties that you suffer, they actually, you know, lead you, you know, they can lead you to being a much better person. And, you know, just, just look at the perspective. <clears throat> the perspective is, that, you know, one thing that really stuck uh, with me was um, Sidi Ahmad ibn Ajiba um, in his tafsir, which is directly there. <laughs> um, and in his tafsir, he's, he's saying, 
He said that on the day of judgment, Allah will call Ahlul Bala, Ahlul Bala, the people of trials, the people that went through difficulty. And literally, he said that he, said he will give to them and 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 give to them. He just pour and shower so many gifts upon them that everyone will wish, you know what, I wish I had been someone that was tested like that in the dunya, right? Because of what they will see, right? So this is something that, you know, you bear in mind and you, know, you console yourself. Allah, just being strong and getting through that day, take you one day at a time, just getting, being strong and getting through that day, that is the quality of sabr. And you can cry and you can feel sad and you can feel upset. Don't let anyone tell you that these are wrong because they're not, right? The ulama are very clear, clear on this, that feeling sadness and feeling pain at a trial is not wrong and you know it's it's a human expression what did the prophet call the year in which let's say the khadija and abu talib passed away amul huzn the year of grief so you can feel all of these but just holding on being strong and getting you through that is a quality that allah loves and there are, there are there's a handful of qualities that allah explicitly says allah loves this quality this people with this quality and patience is one of them Right. No one has been given a gift which is better. Reach out to people. Right. It might be hard, but reach out to people, turn to people, ask people for support. If you need support from someone, say, look, I need help in such a way and tell them exactly what type of help that you need. Um, don't ex expect people to read your mind. And, you know, uh, if you need a particular type of support, reach out. You know, being someone that is, you know, trying to get closer to Allah and trying to be spiritual doesn't mean that, like, you shut you shut yourself off from the world, right? The Prophet had good, strong relationships with people throughout his life, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Doesn't mean you have to be, you know, have, you know, uh, fifty thousand followers on your account, social media account, or whatever. Just a few good friends are, uh, you know, a true gift, right? So. You know, look in the ladhi tatlubuhu amamak. What you're seeking is ahead of you. That rest and relief that you're seeking from trials is ahead of you. So use them as a means of being closer to Allah. And sometimes just sitting through it, it what is it doing? It's raising your rank, your, your sins are being wiped away. So you'll benefit, right? You certainly will benefit. Wallahu a'lam. Thank you for listening. This podcast was brought to you by Seekers Guidance the Global Islamic Seminary. Visit SeekersGuidance.org to access reliable Islamic knowledge taught by qualified teachers. We offer a wide range of courses, podcasts, articles, and a world-class answer service. Support us in spreading free, reliable Islamic knowledge to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Visit SeekersGuidance.org forward slash donate and make a small monthly commitment today. Our beloved Prophet, Peace and blessings be upon him, said, Whoever guides someone to goodness will have a similar reward. So don't forget to share this podcast and spread prophetic guidance.